2016 has been the year of GeoHot. That's George Hotz, the guy who jailbroke the iPhone back in its infancy and broke through Sony PlayStation 3's security protection. Uh, well, he took his uh, vibrant, energetic persona, if you've ever seen him talk, you know what I'm talking about, to South by Southwest and unveiled Comma.ai, his new self-driving car company that he said could build a better self-driving car than Tesla, the gauntlet thrown down, and then throughout the year, Comma.ai uh, trickled out information about the self-driving car kit with promises to bring it to consumers by the end of the year. But the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration came along with their rules and vision of human safety. And ultimately, <laughs> Commodore AI canceled its Comma One product before it ever launched. Uh, Tim, how surprised were you when Comma AI canceled things so soon after that request? And why do you think they did it? Um, it was definitely an interesting sequence. We'd actually just um, done an, an interview with George not that long before, and um, and the, which was always an interesting experience on its own. Yes. Uh, but, you know, we, we were left having a lot of questions about the, the viability of this platform. You know, the idea that you could spend a thousand dollars and plug something into your car and make it autonomous is a bit fanciful to begin with. But uh, we had a lot of questions about uh, legality and regulation and everything else. And it turns out NHTSA did as well, as you mentioned. Um, so it, it was basically the, the instant that there was any sort of notion that the government was curious about what was going on was enough for, for George to say, Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to bother doing this anymore. So at that point, he announced that it was done. The project was over. Um, but actually, just yesterday, uh, he gave an update to us and actually showed us a new version of the hardware, basically taking everything and moving it into a smartphone. Uh, he showed it off in a OnePlus 3, basically sitting inside of a 3D printed uh, enclosure that now sits uh, basically where your rearview mirror would be in the car. The idea is rather than selling a $1,000 kit, um, now he wants to give the whole thing away. Um, so it's a very different, <laughs> a, a rather <laughs> radical uh, shift in, in business uh, tactic, that's for sure, especially giving away your hardware open source. Uh, but it's an interesting idea. Basically, your smartphone would turn into a, an autonomous pallet for your car. Um, I'm still skeptical about the ability for the camera in your phone, for example, to be good enough to identify lanes in all situations, especially shining through a windshield. Um, but that's the basic idea for the thing. But now it's open source, so anybody can check it out and try to improve on the design. And I'm actually really curious to see uh, what comes of this. So do you think the fact that it's open source leaves it open also for security risks, for car hacking, that sort of thing? I, I don't think that's much of a concern in this case. Um, the, the way that it's actually interacting with the car is is pr pretty well known at this point through the OBD2 port. Um, and so really there's no way for someone to take this kit effectively and, and wirelessly connect to someone's car, for example, and do something do something nefarious. Uh, you'd have to actually have some kind of a port plugged into your car for that to work. So I think that it will get more people uh, looking into how to control these sorts of cars and maybe, you know, as a byproduct, they'll learn how to do something nefarious if they wanted to. Um, but ultimately, I don't think this gives anybody any extra keys that, that weren't out there before. What do you know about the app that's on the comma.ai websites, Dash, Train Self-Driving Cars? Like I downloaded it on my iPhone. Um, it looks to be something that just, is it, is it help, like I'm helping uh, map the roads, that sort of thing? Yeah, the basic idea was uh, George Hoss was going to get a lot of people to download and run this app uh, and basically run it on their phone lo looking forward and effectively giving more data to them to, to to basically train their systems. The big thing when you're training an autonomous car is you need millions and millions and millions of miles so that you can then basically train the car what a, a road sign looks like, what a dog in the street looks like, what a bicyclist looks like. Uh, and a really easy way to do that or a great way to do that is to basically crowdsource it and get lots of other people to do it. So basically that's just training the, the, the system uh, and that they can then rely on that data to, to make it smarter.